Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to learn how to count the number of records in a continuous form with criteria in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Daniel in Burbank, California, one of my gold members. Daniel says, I'm trying to get a count of customers from my home state of California on my customer list. I have attempted several different formulas following your form, for, form footer totals video, but I can't seem to get it to work. For example, I've tried equals count state equals New York, and it doesn't work. Please help. All right, so for the rest of you, if you have not yet watched my form footer totals video, go watch this first. I explain how to use the sum function to get totals down here. You can total up the quantity, total up the price, right? There's a very similar function called count. There's also max, min, and a bunch of other ones. And you can use these to put totals or counts down here in your form footer. So go watch this first, then come on back if you haven't seen it. Now, I consider this an expert level video, which means it's beyond the basics, but it's not quite developer. We don't need any programming for today. But this is material I cover in my expert classes because we're using some functions down here in the form footer. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can download off my website if you want to. And in here, I've got a customer list, which is a continuous form. What Daniel is trying to do is to count up the number of customers he has from California. Let me sort this list so we can see here. Oh, I don't have any from California. So I'll use my home state of Florida. I got four people in here from Florida. Now, to put a count down here, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go into design view. I'm just going to copy the state box, copy, click it down here in the form footer and paste. And then we'll just slide this over here. Okay. Now I don't want it bound to state. I don't want the state from the table appearing there. So we're going to get rid of the control source for now. Let's name this count or let's call it state count, state count. Okay. Now for the control source, this is where we're going to put our function. All right. It's going to be equal count. And just to get a complete count of all the records, you'd put a star in there. Okay, let me zoom in so you can see that better. Shift F2, that's what you're gonna put in there to count all the records. Okay, hit save, close it. Let's close it and reopen it. All right, there's 33 records that matches this, 33 records, we're good. Okay, now if I come in here and go to design view and go back in and instead of count all the records, I'm gonna put in here what Daniel had. Count state equals, let's put Florida since I have Floridians. Okay, count state equals Florida, hit okay, save it, close it, close it, open it back up, and I get a 28. Why am I getting 28? Well, the problem is, is that the count function doesn't really care about what your criteria is. It just cares about getting a true or false value back. And if state equals New York, okay, if state is New York is true, that's gonna return a true value, which is negative one in access. All right, so that'll add to the count. But if it returns a false, let's say you got, you're dealing with Hawaii, that's a zero, that's also a record. You see what I'm saying? So count just counts up the number of records. It doesn't really care what the criteria is. And in this case, we're getting a 28 because we've got five records up here that have null values in there and null values do not add to the count. So basically it's saying that I don't care what your criteria is, you're getting a count of one for any value, true or false. The only thing it doesn't count up is null values. So if you know the if function, and if not, here's a video you can go watch. I'll put this down in the link section down below. You could say, if you know the if function, all right, you could say right in here, I wanna count if the state equals Florida Give me a one. Otherwise, don't give me a zero because zero is also going to add to the count. Give me a null. All right. If the state is Florida, give me a one. Otherwise, give me a null, which will not add to the count. Hit OK. Save it. Close it. Close it. And there's your count of four. That's one way to do it if you want to really stick to the count function. But actually, there's an easier way to do it. If we keep in mind that state equals Florida will return a true or false value, all right, negative one or zero. Then instead of counting those, we can add those up with the sum function like this. Watch this one. This one's even easier. Design view. Open her back up again. 
All right. Instead of saying count state equals Florida, we're going to sum state equals Florida. Just like that. Okay. Save it. Close it. Close it. Open it. Oh, look at that. I got a negative four. Why is that? Because this one returned true. This one returned true. This, see what I'm saying? These four returned true. The rest of them returned false, which is zero. Okay? And technically these returned null, but that's okay. We don't care about that. And again, in access, true is negative one, not one like it is in some other databases like SQL Server. You just got to remember that. All right? In access, true is negative one. So now we have the sum of those values, right? State equals Florida. So all we got to really do here is just multiply the result times negative one. Hit OK, save it, close it, close it, open it. There's your answer. That's the easiest way to do it with the sum function. Or you could stick with count if you want, but then you got to use the if. The, the, the thing to remember is that count just counts the records that are returned. It doesn't really care what your criteria is. Some will listen to your criteria better. <laughs> now, for those of you who know dcount, and if not, I got a whole separate video you can go watch on this. Dcount you can use to look inside of any table or query and count up the records. There's dcount, dsum, dmax, dlookup, right? These are, I've done a lot of videos on these. And dcount, or all these domain aggregate functions they're called, these are great if you're on a single form, right? And you want to go look somewhere else to count stuff up. Like in this example here, it can take the single customer form and count the number of orders that this customer has from the order table. It's a different table. Now, unfortunately, if you're dealing with thousands and thousands of records, this can be really slow. And so in this table, we don't want to use dcount because it's going to have to go out to the customer table and count all those records up again. That's two sets of counts, two sets of loading up all those, those records, right? We've already got the records loaded up in this table. Just count what's there. That's why we don't want to use dcount here. We could, and it'll work, but I'd rather not, especially if you got 100,000 records in this table. Now, I'm just checking for Floridians here, which is really all Daniel wanted to do. He wanted to check for people in California. I don't know, maybe you want to, you know, those are the people that got to charge sales tax to, whatever the reason is. But what if you want to change that easily on the fly? Well, that's what we're going to cover in the extended cut for the members. I'm going to put a little combo box out here showing just the states that are in your customer table. So you don't see all 50 of them. You just see the ones you've got in the table. So you got four, you'll just see four down here. All right. That'll be covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases and you get access to the code vault. Plus all my members get a free class every month. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, check it out. It involves a, a tiny bit of programming, literally one line of programming. And if you want to learn more about these form footer totals, I cover them in detail in my access expert level three class. We go over all kinds of stuff. All right, all the sum, average, max, min, count, all that kind of stuff. So check it out. I'll put a link to this down below as well. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, 
template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.